I had a friend several years back that every time someone said, how are you doing today? He would say, fabulous. And I watched this. It would, it would set people back. People weren't expecting that response. They were expecting a nod, you know, an okay. But my friend was always fabulous, and it was not faked. He had become fabulous, and he radiated that fabulous to others. How did he do this? Well, he smiled everywhere he went. Most people don't. Most people have a frown on their face. Try this today. When you're walking in a crowd, smile. Smile and make eye contact. Yes, it will take people back, but it will also bless them. And isn't that what we're here to do as Christians to bless other people? I pray that I do with you, and I pray that you do with others. I pray that you make this an experiment today. Wherever you go, whenever you meet people, whether you know them or not, try smiling and say hello with a warmth in your voice, a welcoming in your voice. What do you think that most people's reaction will be? Will they smile or will they ignore you? I watched my friend and I've watched it in myself doing this. Many times people don't know how to react. But the next time they see you, things have changed. Something has grown within them. And they smile back. They say hello. And then the next time they say more possibly than hello. I have developed friends this way. I've been invited to dinner this way. I've had some of the most unique, wonderful experiences in my life this way that started by giving away a smile. More often than not, you will be greeted with smiles and then love. It'll be returned to you tenfold. Friendship and harmony. It needs something to prompt them. And a friendly smile is a good beginning. Smiles transcend the language barrier and the human barrier. Oh, and how we have barriers around us. We all use it to protect ourselves. We can bridge that seeming gap between generations and cultures. And so what if you're ignored? Realize that every person is dealing with what they're dealing with. But a blessing sent forth from you through your smile will be something that at least you know that you have done your part to promote God's spirit of peace and love to others. And the world just has to be a better place because of your act of friendship. So try this little experiment and become fabulous, fab you -less, everywhere that you are today in your world. Because my friend, as it says in the Bible, you are the light of the world. That is the will of God through you to be the light, not the darkness, the light. May God bless you. I smile at you, and I pray that you smile everywhere you go today at others.